things are not looking good. That missile is carrying a heavy escort, and our fleets have been caught out of position. I'll send support if it becomes available, but you need to disable that missile on your own. And Captain? Yes? If you can't stop it, you need to detonate it. Any means necessary. But, General Burns... I understand, General. Running out of time, Tess! I really hope you have a plan to stop this thing. Not yet. I'll figure that out when I get there. We're running behind on evacuations. If you can't stop it, you need to at least slow it down.
Tess, the missile just accelerated. I've just about caught up to it. Michael, out of the way! Sorry, General, but I need to speak with Tess. I'm here. Talk fast. The missile. I found some weaknesses in its structure. Hit those and you can knock it apart without triggering the warhead. I'm uploading targeting data now. This is good, really good. You tell, General, you can count on me. The casing is cracking apart! Get out of there, Captain! That fusion drive is about to blow! I'm trying! Tess! Are you alright? Alright? No. Alive? Yes. Didn't you tell mention something about first aid kits? I believe those were for the mech, not the pilot. Come on home. We'll get you fixed up. The warhead has been secured and disarmed. Good to have a pleasant surprise for once. I'll agree with that, Captain. Glad you made it. How's the arm? I only sprained it, General. A few stretches and I'll be good as new. That was some impressive flying, Tess. Catching up with a missile like that while being fired on? That's the kind of thing you only read about. Yes. It seems like we chose the right person for our program after all. What do you mean, after all? 
I misspoke, Teresa. Your work has been nothing short of exemplary. General, should we proceed with a briefing? Yes. Let's see what you've come up with. All right. We were able to track the missile's trajectory and speed. Based on those factors, we can tell that the missile came from somewhere in the LSV-6 asteroid cluster. Excellent. Captain Martin, suit up. Explore that cluster and find any evidence of the launch site. We need to find out where they produced that hardware, and if they have any more. Be careful out there. The cluster's too far out for our telescopes to get anything useful. But the black body radiation it's emitting is just, well, it's bizarre. I'll be more than careful. I'll be exemplary. Yuto, I'm really starting to enjoy getting called in here. What do you have for me today? We've actually been working on this one since we discovered the mech's EMP capability. I reason that if we reverse the polarity of the fields, we can channel all that energy back wherever we want. Hold on. Does that mean I can use the mech's EMP to supercharge my own weapons? At the small price of no longer catching multiple targets in the blast, yes. Just give the word and we'll swap out the system. I've arrived at the LSV-6 cluster. Michael, have you gotten any closer to figuring out those radiation readings? Not at all. I've run black body scans, radio imaging, and spectrographics. None of it is making any sense. There's a mission spectra here that shouldn't exist. Could it be left over from the missile? It's possible, but unlikely. We were able to get clean readings on it, and it wasn't giving off anything like this. We don't know what's out there, Captain. Stay alert. Tess, can you reset your sensor array? It's going haywire. Busy! I'm under attack! Specialist Hayes, what are we looking at here? I, I, I have no idea. I think I've just discovered a new element. Well, that's exciting. This is not the time for humor, Specialist. I'm serious. That's the only possible explanation for what I'm saying. We can analyze the debris later. For now, we have more immediate concerns.
Michael, the asteroids have guns. Why do the asteroids have guns? Um, to catch intruders off guard? Well, it worked. General, I think I found the source of the missile. Are you sure? I'm looking at some kind of advanced mining ship. If they want to build another missile, this is what I'd use. Captain, under no circumstances can you allow another missile to be completed. Reduce that ship to scrap. When I'm through with it, calling it scrap would be generous. <laughs>
Well, I don't think we're salvaging anything this time. That's one less crisis to deal with. Excellent work. Return to base. Specialist Hayes, have a drone collect some debris. Let's see about your new element. hayes Absolutely not. Hello again, Yuto. I'm here to... Oh, the laser's ready. Tess, for the last time, it's not a laser. It's a charged particle cannon. A laser can't stimulate magnetic fields while this excels at... Yuto, I am not a particle physicist. I am a pilot, and I am calling it a laser. You're doing that to bother me, aren't you? <laughs> I'm amazed it took you this long to figure it out. Yudo, tell us what your team has learned. My team has managed to analyze the data, and it turns out some of these ships date back a long time. How long exactly? We're currently estimating at least two million years. Two million? How is any of it still working? Are you sure about this? Quite sure. That new element we isolated from the debris fills a lasting gap in the periodic table. It also hasn't been present in the system for at least that long. These ships must have been in stasis for all that time. Does that tell us anything useful? Well, it means that however formidable these ancient ships are, they can't manufacture anymore. So, what are our next steps? Now that we have another core to work with, we should be able to scan the system for hostiles. If it works, we can find out where they're coming from. I've even got the perfect platform in mind. The deep space scanning array at Zephyrus? That's exactly what I was thinking. Unfortunately, it went dark during the initial attacks. We need you to secure it before we can use it. You can count on me, General. Let's find out what these things are up to. You should be getting close to the scanning station. I don't see it. Shouldn't it at least be on my sensors? Not yet. It's down in the planet's atmosphere. I'll let you know when you're approaching it.
How are you doing, Captain? It's hard to keep steady in these winds, but I'll be fine as long as it doesn't get any worse. It's about to get worse. Major storms are popping up all over the surface. Uh, do you ever have good news for me?
I think I've reached the eye of the storm. It's calmed down significantly. Tess, I'm picking up some very dangerous readings. Something big is coming your way. I see it. Is it... controlling the storm? I don't think so. The energy involved in that would be... It appears to be controlling the storm. Looks like I have a fun time ahead of me. Target down. It looks like the storm is dissipating, and even better, the scanner seems to be intact. Excellent. Specialist, get the array back online. If we can track the enemy's movements, we've already won. Already done? I've just made contact. Uploading the tracking signal. Is it working? It's working! I can see all of their movements all over the system, and... Oh. Specialist Hayes, make your report. There appears to be a large... Uh, sorry, very large congregation of ships. Group near Pelior. We're talking thousands. If that gets anywhere near one of our colonies... Don't count us out yet, Specialist. This is valuable intel. Captain Martins, I'm sending you the rendezvous coordinates. It's time to show Ether to the rest of the fleet. Admirals, thank you for assembling on such short notice. I know some of you have objections, but you know what's at stake. This is the best chance we'll get to turn the tide in our favor. And only by committing all our forces on a desperate gamble. Truly a brilliant strategy. It's less desperate than you would think. I'll let my communications expert take it from here. In our engagements with the enemy, we figured out that the ships are all controlled by a central AI. They have no autonomy of their own. Take out the AI, and the entire fleet goes dark. That is no easy task. How exactly do you plan on accomplishing that? If you check the briefing, you'll see that the Ether prototype's performance has exceeded all expectations. And it's being piloted by the best of the best. If anyone can take down their flagship, Tess can. The plan is to engage the enemy fleet on two fronts to split their attention. We need to create a path of least resistance so that Captain Martins can target the flagship directly. At least your suicidal plan is well thought out. My ships will be ready to engage when I give the signal.
Tess, you're not going to believe what I've just finished working on. What now? Did you figure out how to make the thing teleport? Actually, yes. Wait, really? How did you manage that? And when do I get to try it? When you have a reactor whose output has no known limit, things like wormholes suddenly become plausible. So, you're not teleporting in the traditional sense, but... I get it. You've outdone yourself here, Yuto. This is Admiral Goyer of the URMF Inner Fleet. Am I speaking with Captain Teresa Martins? Speaking. I'm looking forward to working with you, sir. I'm looking forward to not losing my entire fleet. General Burns thinks you can help with that. I'm less sure. With all due respect, your fleet wasn't able to fend off the hostiles over Tandar. I was.
Tess, you're almost there. The flagship is just coming in on radar. We're holding, but taking heavy damage. Take it down quickly. Did that seem a bit... too easy? You've become quite the experienced pilot. I'm not surprised. No. Captain Martins is right. Something is wrong here. None of the other ships are disabled. That's very unusual. Burns! I have a situation over here. Admiral Goyer, respond! Hayes, what's happening out there? Admiral Goyer's ship has been destroyed. Another ship decloaked right next to it and tore it apart! This must be the reason the enemy fleet is still active. Captain, already en route.
Tess? That thing overwhelmed Goya's defenses in seconds. Our ships can't stand up to that kind of firepower. This is a gamble, Michael. It's this or nothing. I... I know. And I've got your back, as always. I'll instruct the admirals to keep the other ships off you, but they won't be able to provide direct support. We need this win. That was one hell of a fight. We did it! The enemy fleet has gone inactive! General, your plan was a complete success! Not a complete success. The first flagship was an obvious trap, and I walked right into it. I won't make that mistake again. I'm glad we finished this modification in time for your current mission. It should increase the mech's longevity. How so? Is it new armor? Kind of. Remember the power burst which channels the EMP back into the mech systems? This one creates a magnetic field around the mech that should deflect whatever comes at you next. That seems useful. How long does it last? I wouldn't want to use it for more than one projectile at a time, but that should make a difference. If it means you'll grumble at me about repairs less, I'm all for it.
Reporting is ordered, General. What's the next mission? The enemy tipped their hand with their last defensive. They were banking quite a lot on that assault. Now we have them in a vulnerable position. We now know exactly where their main factory is. It was tricky to track down, even with the scanner. But then again, we were looking for a deep space installation, not something hidden inside a moon. So, an underground bunker of some sort? That shouldn't be too difficult to deal with. It's a bit more complicated than that. If we're right, the installation extends throughout the entire moon. The entire moon? How do we even approach something like that? We've identified several possible entry points on the surface, disguised as meteor craters. They're likely for thermal exhaust, but should accommodate Aether just fine. We need you to enter the structure and find a way to disable the facility. Yudo has identified what he believes to be the main power source. That's exactly the information I was looking for. Where to go and what to shoot. If we can take this installation off the table, we'll be removing the core of their production capacity. That will turn the tide very much in our favor. Thermal emissions from Pelior just went through the roof. What did you do? I haven't done anything. Not yet, anyway. Well, they've spotted you. I guess I can't say anything about kicking the hornet's nest because... Yeah, you're a little bit late on that one. Point, it's just ahead. It should be a straight shot to the reactor once you're in. I'm in. You were right, Michael. Looks like a straight shot. Very high. Scrambled and we Michael, can you hear me? We're out of It looks like I'll have to take care of this on my own.
Looks like the way forward is blocked. If I can destroy those panels, I should be able to get further in. Another checkpoint. I must be getting close.
I've reached the reactor core. Michael, can you... All right. Well, I know I need to take it out, so that's what I'm gonna do. Looks like this whole place is gonna come apart. Mm -hmm. This is fine. I cannot fly this. I just need to move a lot faster. Tess, are you alright? We lost your signal for a... Good grief, what did you do? I completed the mission. The moon exploding was, uh... Well, we should have expected that. I'll have Yudo assist with redrawing our star charts. But we're all glad you're safe. And I will happily trade a moon for a victory on this scale. We've already done it, haven't we? That's... That's almost all of them. They're still isolated pockets, but we can mop them up easily. That's almost a disappointment. I've grown attached to flying this thing. I knew I couldn't head out on such an important mission without coming to see you first. What have you cooked up for me today? You're going to like this. I figured out how to tune the firing mechanisms to unleash a salvo of rockets. Huh. Is that it? What do you mean, is that it? Listen, this wasn't easy. We needed to fine-tune the propellant for stability under high G-forces to say nothing of the warhead catalysts. After everything that you've already come up with, it almost seems tame in comparison. Just wait until you've had a chance to fire it. That'll change your mind. <laughs> 